Hey everyone, welcome back to the Autoflux Games. So this is a bit of a weird event because uh, you can see me here. Um, uh, but yeah, I've got my wheel set up. I've got my... well, it's pretty jank, but basically this is the only way that I can make it so you can actually see what's going on, which is <laughs> half the point of the webcam. So the first thing I'm going to note is, uh, obviously, there are a lot of ways to interact with the Autoflux games. If you're looking at the screen right now, you'll see some really sweet cars. Those are from my Discord. Those are people who make vehicles based on the vehicles that I've posted there. And then they post them in the Autoflux games channel. You can check it out and you can join them as well. Post your own creations and they'll appear in one of these videos. You'll be featured in front of thousands of people, so why not? Give it a shot. Do your best and I'll post it up here. Secondly, there are a lot of other ways to interact with this channel. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you're enjoying this series, and like the video of the car in this series that you like the most. Each one of them has a build video, and uh, yeah, they're pretty cool, so check them out. As for everything else, it's time to talk about event number three. So I need to say this very clearly to start off this video. I'm not good at racing, especially with the wheel. I'm more of an arcade racer myself. I like games such as Need for Speed, Ridge Racer. The games that you see me play on this channel generally are not very realistic in terms of racing, and that's because I'm a lot better at those games, like Flat Out, Burnout, those kind of things. Realistic racing, realistic handling, I can't do much. <laughs> so I'm going to give it my best shot here, and we're actually going to have somebody who's a lot better than me go ahead and try it for the next round, although on a different course. So what you're looking at in front of you is a sunburst, but it's not just any sunburst, it's a regular yellow sunburst, ooh, the sport model. But basically I'm going to be using it to demonstrate our course today. This is the setup we're currently doing. Uh, it's going to be Asphalt Stage 1, East Coast USA, just one lap because it's a rally course. And this is the car for testing just to show you that uh, <laughs> it actually is possible. Um, I've done one run in the snake bite. It managed a 141, which is a relatively quick run. This course is quite uh, flat out, I would say. It's basically just a run, <laughs> throttle down, couple of turns, but I kind of want to see where things go with this. Uncontrollable cars are not going to be able to finish, but for the most part, I think it should be a pretty easy course. So what we're going to do is two laps of this, both of them timed up on the spreadsheet, and then we're going to be doing one mystery course that I even don't know what it's going to be yet, uh, which is completely unpracticed, and it should be a lot of fun. All right, let's give the sunburst a little bit of a run for its money, uh, and immediately, immediately you'll see my driving prowess is not quite there. I'm going to put it in Sport ESC as well, just to give us a little bit of an advantage. I'm not trying to get a good time, I'm just trying to show you the course. I realize that I'm blocking the pedal action in the bottom left corner of the screen. You'll just have to trust that I am actually clicking the pedals when they need to be clicked. Um, so I'm, log I'm using a Logitech uh, G920, I believe it's the Xbox version of the G29. I guess it's an older model now that they have a newer version of it, but it works just fine. I mean, I don't use this wheel that often, so <laughs> I probably should be using it more. I definitely need practice. I bought that Sim Racing Humble Bundle a while ago, and uh, I've been too scared to get into those games properly, <laughs> but who knows? Maybe you'll see a video on that eventually. So this course, as you can probably tell just from my leisurely driving around it, is quite a leisurely run. It's supposed to be a rally stage, but it's pretty wide, and I'm hoping that that will be to my advantage here. I didn't want to pick something difficult, and it had to be asphalt, so yeah, this is what I ended up choosing. Course itself should take most of our cars under two minutes to run through. The end is right over here, and that took out a bit of a sign there. But yeah, the blue markers at the end there are the finish line. Uh, and yeah, this car seems like it's actually gonna do pretty well, even though, that, again, this was a very leisurely run. Our first little run at this course, and actually my second time making it all the way through. <laughs> Not a good way to do things. Our baseline finish is 149. Okay, let's see what we can do. We're gonna start with first place in the challenges and go to last to give last place the best chance that it can get. Okay, first up is going to be the Amazon Prime, which is as large as ever. The thing is massive. Uh, so uh, thankfully we can make it underneath the starting gate and yes this car is currently first in the challenges I'm looking at the spreadsheet right now 8.7 
points out of a possible 10 so far. That's an 87% there, buddy. Doing really well. Let's see how it'll do in a proper race. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm not going to mess with the settings or anything. I'm just going to leave them. Oh, wait, this thing's automatic. Forgot about that. Um, <laughs> I don't figure I'm going to make it most of the time with these cars on their first run, so... Our first go at things is a bit of a practice run uh, with 100% throttle. This thing actually does rip pretty hard, but the center of gravity leaves a lot to be desired, and it worries me around some of these longer corners, or any corners at all for that matter. Wow, this is going to be challenging. Let's just say the restart key is going to get a bit of a workout today, but that's okay because I am determined to finish two laps with each of these cars and at least get two times on the board. I'm not going to average them, I'm just going to take the best of them and then our mystery course is just going to be for fun. <laughs> uh, I like having fun and object objectivity in this challenge has never been the goal. Um, I'm going to try to go a lot slower around that corner. Yeah, that's not going to do it. We have to go even slower than that. Yikes. Oh my goodness, this thing is massive. Okay, we're taking this corner at an incredibly leisurely pace just to make sure that I make it. I need to experience what the rest of the track is like with this big beast. Uh, top heaviness is definitely my biggest worry. Some of these corners are banked, at least a little bit, and uh, rounding without <laughs> hitting the brakes is going to take some courage, uh, which I don't really have much of. <laughs> Again, not really great at this whole driving thing. Uh, at least not in-game. I think I'm fine in real life. Not on the track, though. Oh, that was rough. See, one of my major goals in life is to eventually get into some kind of motorsport, and uh, I don't mean that in, as in a professional way, I mean it as in like a banger race sort of way. <laughs> That's more my style. Come on, big boy, let's set a lap time here. I want to get at least something down on the clock. Actually not a bad time at all coming into this corner, hitting the brakes really hard, and that tree as well. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, let me see if I can do that again. I am so rusty with this wheel and pedal setup. Oh my goodness, it is rough out here. I'm having a hard time with this car, but that is to be expected. We're going to floor it all the way to the end, because that is, again, to be expected. I'm thinking we're getting a sub minute, one, or a sub two minute time, 152.7. Let's note that down. Okay, second run almost done. Oh my goodness. It has been eons since the first run. I have had numerous practice attempts at the first section of the track where I was consistently crashing into things, but that's actually a worse run. I thought it was going to be better, that 153. Alright, first run takes it. Up next is the Red Rocket. To be honest with you, I am not looking forward to running this 2000 horsepower front wheel drive car on this track. It is going to be a disaster and I hope that you will come with me for the ride. Uh, this car is currently in second place overall which makes sense. Uh, <laughs> it is wickedly fast. Let's see what it will do in a challenge like this uh, where it actually has to be somewhat controllable. Um, Thank the lord, it is automatic. Uh, I don't think I'd want to be shifting gears while attempting to corner with this. It is pulling <laughs> very hard. The torque steer is incredible, and uh, you can see this mild difference in speed between the last one and this one, uh, which is going to be hard for me to contend with. <laughs> you know, it's actually not bad. The monster truck gave me a fright. This one is giving me a lot more than that. I'm gonna lose my sight. I'm staring at the screen so much. Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> no! Oh, that run was going so well. The thing is going mad, though. Like, I have no doubt that this is gonna be the fastest car. I just need to coax it to the finish line with a reasonable time. <laughs> you know what the best part of this is, by the way? You can go and uh, practice with these cars on this track, because they are posted in my Discord, and absolutely slap my times if you want to. You have the freedom to do that, and my permission. By the way, Red Rocket Run 1 is actually not going too bad here. 54 seconds, <laughs> 1 minute, and then, uh, well, we'd pretty much have the win. You can see that I'm going slowly, and that's because I don't like dying. Um, and the trees are looking pretty hungry right now. It seems they might be salivating over this red beast. 
Okay, the brakes are a little stronger than the uh, <laughs> Amazon Prime as well. If we can get around this final corner, and then I can just hammer it all the way home, then we'll probably have a decent time. Probably a winning time as well. I don't think anything is anywhere near this fast. 127, that's not as good as I thought it would be. Huh. Well, now that I know that it's possible to finish with this car, I'm surprised, uh, but I'm excited to see what I can do on a second, much more aggressive attempt. Um, I'm starting to feel it, and uh, apparently I was feeling a tree. Don't believe the kilometer an hour figures on the right, that's uh, wheel spin. <laughs> it, it doesn't measure it accurately when you're spinning the wheels in every gear. Okay, come on, big boy. There we go. <laughs> That's proper. Alright, all we gotta do is just hammer it to the end. Come on. Red rocket ahoy. Let's see how fast this thing will go. And a much better time that time. 120. Whew. That car has a lot more in it. Uh, but that is as good as I'm gonna get for today. 120.9. Yikes. That's gonna be hard to beat. Now, it's pretty clear that in most of my challenges, fast cars tend to do the best, but it, it, we're going to be driving the slowest car today. It's currently in third overall out of five, which is not bad, actually, for this car. It's not going to win this one, but let's give it a go anyways. Oh, I'm, ha I'm absolutely jamming it right now. I don't think it's going to take me very many attempts for this, and I kind of feel that I probably will never touch the brakes, which is a good thing. Um, <laughs> this is kind of like driving a Peel P50. I'm going to drink water while I drive. <clears throat> Multitasking, I'm going to do my taxes too. See, we've hit top speed of about 85, 86. I think it will do 90 if you really have a flat area <laughs> for it to try and get up to, but obviously that's not the case here. Um, yeah, I don't know about this corner at 80. Let's see though, a little bit of a lift. Oh man, <laughs> never mind. I'm not lifting for the rest of the run here. This is, <laughs> this is all Pugo territory. You see, I'm the kind of person who in real life would enjoy driving this more than I would the 2000 horsepower beast. I think there's, there's some fun to be had in something that's ridiculously powerful, but there's also a lot of fun in driving something where you're just pedal all the way down the entire time. It's almost like driving a slow golf cart or something around a racetrack, but it is fun. Like with your expectations in check, this is a pretty wicked beast. <laughs> okay, maybe not wicked. Uphill, we're losing speed down to 76 kilometers an hour, come on. Go, Pew, go, go. <laughs> 140 something, 146 maybe. Oh, this is devastating. Oh no, 50. <laughs> oh no, come on. I didn't think this would be the challenge. 46, oh, that is rough. But we're gonna gain a little bit of speed coming into this final corner here. I'm gonna lift a little bit, just cause this one's a bit sharp. Ah, you know what, Never mind. Lifting was a mistake. Oh, pardon me, I'm just rubbing the sleep out of my eyes here as we come to the finish line. Uh, two minutes and probably 40 seconds by the time we get to the end of this. Maybe less, hopefully less. Two minutes and 36 seconds. Oof. Well, I think I can do slightly better, but I don't see much more in that car. The throttle pedal is down and it shall not be lifted even slightly for the remainder of this journey. Let's see what this Pugo can do. 91 kilometers an hour, oh wow. <laughs> that was a brief but very exhilarating moment. Around in that corner at maximum speed, the Pugo is coming in for a hot lap. Uh, this is going to be the hottest of laps because this one seems to be a little bit faster. Again, I'm wiping the sleep out of my eyes, but going uphill is still an issue. Come on there, buddy. <laughs> we got this. I think this is going to be, just looking at the time comparison, maybe three, four seconds faster. Come on. Let's go. And oh, for one second faster. You know what, I have a challenge for you right now. Go to my Discord, download this car, place it in BeamNG Drive, and beat that time with the Pugo. No tuning or anything, just run it as is. Show me that beat time. <laughs> Tell me in the comments. 235, come on guys. 
So I had a lot of time to think while I was driving the Bugo, and I was actually thinking about this car here. It's the Snake Bite. It's basically a lowrider pickup truck. Um, and it's currently fourth place in the challenge. It hasn't been doing very well overall with the, with the events that I've had so far. But this is a chance to turn things around because I believe this thing has the potential to be second place. Maybe not first, but second at the very least. You saw my initial time there. I wasn't really trying that hard for that first time when I was practicing. This one has definitely got something. Um, it can do a 143 at the very least. So let's give it a little bit of a run and see if I can do better than that now that I've got a bit of practice. The last car, by the way, is going to be a very unique one, so I'm excited for that too, but for now, <laughs> we're back to the difficult stuff, because this thing is not easy to drive. I think its biggest problem is that it's uh, really, really low. As you can see, the wheels are popping out from underneath it, and I have to get used to the fact that brakes are a thing. Oh yes, a little bit too much time in the Pugo, maybe. Yeah, this is definitely the second fastest vehicle to smash into a tree. Okay, I finally made it around that corner. <laughs> My goodness. You know, I've done this before, but uh, apparently it's a little bit more difficult when I'm really giving it. <laughs> but this thing is quick. It's rear-wheel drive. It's definitely not got the grip of some of our other vehicles. Being low is a blessing and a curse because the center of gravity is really low, which means, I mean, it actually handles pretty darn well for something of this size. And it's got a decent amount of power. It's not slow by any means. I think that this is one of those cars where I'm never going to be able to get the potential out of it. But it is the best sort of all-around driver in my entire lineup here. And that's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing indeed. Right now, it is absolutely ripping. And I think on this second run, I might be able to perfect it. Oh, especially some of this stuff here. Around that corner. Round it a little bit tighter. Oh, that was such a good run! Ah. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've faced this corner. This time we got it. <laughs> this time it's home free. Hit that gas, we're gonna get one lap in, boys. It has been 10 millennia since I managed to uh, get around that corner. I have been crashing in the weirdest places with this car, but this is gonna be a ripper of a time. That is a 134. Oh, <laughs> that's close. But still, 14 seconds is a lot to make up to get into uh, first place, so I think that's going to be a solid second from the looks of things. Okay, home stretch. I don't think this is going to be any better because we're already at 100 and, uh, 120 seconds. Whoops. No, we're already past, well, <laughs> first place is not within reach anymore, but that's fine. 133, that is actually a little bit quicker. Oh man, that was a hard fought run. Oh man, <laughs> see if you can do better with this thing, 133.9. Okay, so the last car is going to be the Ferrari Magic 302. This car has 50 horsepower. It's set up to be a very good handling car, and I'm hoping that it actually lives up to that tuning because I did it, so <laughs> we gotta hope here that things turn out well. This car has a lot to live up to. It is in last place in the challenge by a decent margin. It's 5.8 out of a possible 10 score, which means it's sitting at a cool, uh, yeah, 58%. You can also see that it puts out a lot of black smoke when you hit the throttle pedal, which is mildly worrying. That is a lot of black smoke. Anyway, we're going to be seeing some of that soon because it's time to rip it around the track. I don't know how it's going to do. This one is also the only manual car in the challenge, uh, so it's going to be up to me to smash some of these gears and uh, see if I can get it to stay in fourth. It has a bit of a problem, as you can see, getting into gears. I don't know what it is about it, but you can see it's currently in neutral because it's currently fighting with the clutch trying to get into gear, which is really awkward uh, and makes my job a lot more difficult. I might have to turn on clutch to make this work. There we go, it popped itself into third, thank goodness. There's something wrong with this car and I don't know how to fix it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is very annoying though. I, going into any gear above second seems to be a problem. There we go, now we're in fourth. So overall it's not very quick, but I think it does have a chance in this challenge just simply because it's a fairly decent driving car and it's made for handling what it lacks in power it makes up for in uh, drivability and handling um, that being said my wheel is rattling like mad uh, let's go down into third maybe okay it'll allow that 
up into fourth. It's not like in any second of this, but it is a car that is so controllable that this is my first attempt and it's still going strong. So I'm pleased about that at least. So the entire gimmick for this car, if you haven't been paying attention, is wow it has really good brakes uh, but the entire gimmick for it is that the engine is huge and the power is minimal and therefore it has a lot of torque and uh it's a little dangerous okay rounding that last corner for the hopefully uh well it won't actually be the final time so i've been having issues with the clutch in this car constantly it's very strange the way that it's working i'm also driving it with one hand because again it's quite easy to drive but it's a very firm second last uh which is fine i'm gonna run it again though i'm gonna make it so that i'm controlling the clutch usually i have it on auto clutch because i'm not great with it at least in this setup i can drive manual in real life but games is totally different so let's see what i can do all right, let's try it with a realistic gearbox, no clutch assist, no throttle assist. Yikes. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to end up stalling for sure here. Oh my goodness, it actually shifts properly when you do it yourself. Uh, <laughs> gearbox is damaged. Forgot to use the clutch. Okay, let's do this. Go down into... Oh, okay. Don't drop the clutch in third, as I've just learned. <laughs> Yeah, you can see me banging through the gears now. It's actually working, which is incredibly impressive. So there's something off with the way that BeamNG does this specific manual transmission. Um, <laughs> which is not ideal for me. Oh, I tapped the clutch and I ended up going for a drift. I'm going to have to get used to driving it like this because it is way faster. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I only find this out in this third of five challenges. <laughs> Anyways, let me get through a run and see how it goes. 126 kilometers an hour. This is something I've never seen from this beast. <laughs> also, what a handling monster. Whoa, I can't drive. This is not going well. Okay, my goodness, I may be able to make it through this. Come on, let's bang some gears up into... Fourth, <laughs> you can probably hear the clutch slapping, but this is going to be a significantly better run. Would you look at that? A sub two minute run out of my, well, probably fifth attempt, but the first one I actually finished. That is insanity. Does that do anything? <laughs> uh, it's so darn close to beating the Amazon Prime. This car has a lot more in it. I'm not a great driver, again, <laughs> but there you go. We have the results. So, the results of the challenge are as follows. The Red Rocket comes in first, and therefore it gets 5 points. The Snakebite came in as surprising second place for 4 points, which is excellent. The Amazon Prime managed to get 3 points in that challenge, third place overall. For the current winner of the challenges overall, that's not bad. The Pugo was in last, and the Magic 302, the car we just ran, is in second last, which is fourth, <laughs> with the 1 minute 59 second time. Not bad. Much, much better. Literally 20 seconds better when I drove it myself. Hard to do, but uh, pretty rewarding. My goodness. So I'll reveal the final scores in a bit because I just want to do one thing. I was going to race every car, but this video is getting too long already. Let's just do one on a challenging tight course just for fun, and then I'll give you the real final results of this challenge. So stick it out with me for a second. Let's run the Pugo on the sky curve just to cap things off. <laughs> I want to see what this big beast is going to be able to do. Uh, it is automatic, it's not very exciting, but uh, yeah, um, I was actually going to run this course for the challenge, and then I realized that that is a terrible idea with these bad corners, and also everything else about it just does not lend well to my specific challenges. Also, I mean, I'm always in the grid map, so it's about time that I changed. <laughs> However, I don't think the Pugo is going to have too much trouble with this. I'm a little curious, and so far so good. Leisurely drive for sure. See, I got scared thinking that it was going to be that uh, big sky curve piece up there, but that is a different course entirely. We just have to do the low one, the less dangerous one, the one that doesn't involve absolute and immediate death, although it is fairly close. I consider the Pugo to be the great equalizer between all drivers because there's only so much power that it has, so it's all about your technique. 
And in my case, I got nothing. Oh, so that's my very first run on this track with the car. And I managed to do a 118. <laughs> All right, let's launch it in outer space. Come on now. Bye. Oh, it's totally alive. Look at that. If this thing had front wheels, it would be able to move. No question. Okay, about time I revealed the final scores. No more goofing around. So the current winner of our challenge as of event number three is the Red Rocket with 13.1 points out of a possible 15 for three events. Pretty darn good score there. Up in second place is the Amazon Prime, previously in first, but now dropped down to second after this challenge. It didn't really do that well. It got third place overall in that. So yeah, down into second place is the Amazon Prime. Third place is the Snakebite, doing much better than it was before. It's actually jumped up. Uh, so now yeah, not doing too bad. It's replaced the Pugo, actually, <laughs> fighting for the middle ground here. The extremes, I didn't expect to change, but the middle is where things get interesting. The Pugo is in fourth, and the Magic 302 is in fifth. Both of them very close together at this point, 7.9 and 7.8. The Magic 302 could overtake the Pugo, but we still have some challenges left. So <laughs> yeah, make sure to follow along next week for more of these videos. Event number four is coming up, and that's going to be hopefully our tame racing driver if he's ready for it which I think he will be. But if not, that'll be at event number five. And I've got something else for you next week. So get ready for that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. We're almost done this series. I mean, we got three videos left. We're three videos in, three videos left. The final one being the finale. And uh, yikes. Whew, we got a lot of stuff on the go, boys. It's been a good run. I'll see you again next week. <laughs> Don't forget all that stuff I said before uh, at the beginning of the video. And yeah like and subscribe, <laughs> all that stuff. Hopefully you'll see more of this mug soon and uh, more of this Pugo as well. The thing is unbeatable, if you know what I'm saying. Just want to give a big thank you to the members of the channel. Thank you guys for supporting things. Uh, I appreciate you all, specifically Overlord QT Bear Terry Williams, who is now Terry01. I can't get your old name out of my mind. J. Pope, Davis Heister, The German Dude, Sleep64, Sin Lab, Jared Greg, Goofy Plays Badger, and Phoenix Shark. Thank you everybody for your support. Appreciate all of you a lot. If you want to join this crew, hit the join button. I'll see you again soon. Oh, one more thing. Check out my website. Okay, that's it. I got, That's all I got. <laughs> Bye now.